So what do we want on this one? Uh, what do you want in the numerator? X to the fifth. X to the fifth. Y to the... Second. Second. And Z to the... Fourth. Fourth? Let's make it negative four just to throw it in the mix. And then we'll still have X, Y, and Z in the denominators. What's the power of X? Why? Z? Did you say four? Or one? Yes. For Y and one. One, okay. Z? Three. Three. There we go. All right. So these ones, since this is all multiplication, we kind of split these up like this. I guess we kind of use the same method in scientific notation. So let's look at the base X's. We got the numerator exponent minus the denominator exponent which would be x to the power of 1 we don't have to show that one but I just did and then we got the y's y to the power of 2 minus 1 which also would be y to the power of 1 am I going too fast and then the z's we've got that negative 4 in the numerator and we'll subtract 3 from the denominator exponent which would be z to the power of negative 7. Since z has a negative exponent, we would reciprocate that, though. And we would have x times y all over z to the power of 7. And that would be the final answer for this one. Yes?